So I think 2K may have just nailed the showcase mode this year. We have 21 confirmed matches for the 2K24 showcase mode. A lot of wrestlers are confirmed for this. This is an awesome trailer. The footage we're looking at is going to be Macho Man to start things off. We have the iconic match of Hogan versus Andre. Bobby the Brain Heenan is in there as well. We've seen Heenan twice now, one with his blue attire and one with his classic white. So I got a feeling we're going to get two versions of Bobby the Brain Heenan. This match, I'm so glad they are including Eddie Guerrero, Kurt Angle, WrestleMania 20. A phenomenal match. And also, Angle's attire, this is like my favorite Kurt Angle attire for this thing. I also really love, guys, the WrestleMania 20 that they are doing here in Madison Square Garden because you're getting that unique arena. You have the Tron, the doors, right behind Eddie Guerrero in this shot. So I'm going to guess that we're going to have even more templates when it comes to custom arena because we are going to be able to get that logo on there, maybe substitute it out, create our own Madison Square Garden unique arenas. This shot is awesome. Then we can confirm that we are going to get HBK Undertaker WrestleMania 25, Sean's classic white gear that he wore for this, facing off against The Undertaker. The stage designs, the arenas, they're putting a lot of attention to detail in this in terms of the size, scope, and like remaking them to look just like that of the WrestleMania. This I'm so excited for and also very curious. WrestleMania 17, Austin versus The Rock. It's in the game. It's one of the showcase matches. But the big question for me is going to be, how are they going to finish this off? Vince McMahon, as you guys know, WrestleMania 17, Austin sides with McMahon. McMahon tosses the chair into Austin. He beats down The Rock to no end. Wins. Shake hands with McMahon. There's no way they're putting that in there with Vince. Vince is completely out of WWE at this point. WrestleMania 17 Arena, the show, the pay-per-view, is one of my absolute favorites. I am so happy that we are going to get The Rock, this version of The Rock. We have this model of Austin. We got more different models that they're showcasing here. So we're going to get, finally, WrestleMania 17 the older version of The Rock in there. I hope they're going to put in more of the classic theme music too. Also, this just struck me. I don't think they're going to do it, but oh my god, I'd be so happy. WrestleMania 17, Stone Cold Steve Austin came out to his Disturbed theme song for his entrance. If they got the Disturbed theme licensed, I'm going to geek out. Yes, I know, my PC friends out there, you just say go to Sound Editor, Matt, and then just play on PC, and then you get any song you want. I don't care! I want it on console! And to be able to play it on console, if they're going to give you the Disturbed theme, I'm going to geek out real hard for this. That's what she said. Then we have the Firefly Funhouse match. John Cena, Bray Wyatt, the Fiend Bray Wyatt. This was confirmed just yesterday, where we had the reveal of the Fiend's full entrance. They gave it to us. The Fiend is in the game. I'm so happy. He's not a My Faction exclusive. He's not DLC. He's in the base game. And they showed this off a lot in the trailer. The model for the Fiend also is updated from that of 2K20. The mask has been updated and altered. It's fantastic. We're also getting the WrestleMania match of Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Kevin Owens. Austin making his return to wrestling, having his first wrestling match in forever. This is really cool because this match is just fun to play. Tons of brawling, tons of stunners to dish out. Also, Austin's ATV, possibility for an entrance. The game goes over to Bianca Belair's WrestleMania entrance where she had her match against Asuka. You can see Asuka here. I gotta hand it to 2K because the shots they're getting with this, I know this is a trailer for the showcase mode, but these shots, these crowd shots are wonderful. They give you the size and scope of WrestleMania. It makes it feel huge. I don't expect to necessarily see this in the game, but I love that because there's a lot of attention to detail in terms of the stadium, how the stadium actually looks. Asuka shot too. Asuka looks amazing. The face paint, the hair looks great. We have more shots of Charlotte and Rhea Ripley from WrestleMania 39. We've seen this match play out as well. Then you got Cody Rhodes for his entrance at WrestleMania. The game then cuts over to Ricky the Dragon Steamboat versus Macho Man. More Hogan and Andre in there. Piper versus Bret Hart is going to be in the game, which is awesome. We saw a screenshot of this just yesterday too, but we're getting the WrestleMania 10 ladder match with an updated retro version of HBK. This looks incredibly accurate. The WrestleMania 10 arena is in there. I really hope that we can have access to these retro ladders too, to be able to put them in our matches. That would be a really nice touch. We get another shot of WrestleMania 17 with The Rock 
the retro version of The Rock, a nice clear picture of him, and you got him doing the people's elbow. Hey, the people's elbow comes off. Hopefully that's not glitch. No sight of McMahon at that point, but the arena shot for WrestleMania 17 does look great. We got another shot of Eddie versus Kurt Angle here. Lots of t-shirts of DX, Rey Mysterio in the background too. I love it. And very excited to see there is going to be a match for the Firefly Funhouse. There was the cinematic match. And this also confirms Firefly Funhouse Bray and prototype Cena, Thugonomic Cena as well. So we're gonna be able to play this. So I'm really curious about this, how they're going to do this. Is it going to be a real mixture of just these little moments where you're gonna be able to execute a move onto the Fiend, onto Bray Wyatt? Really, really cool. But it does mean, guys, that we're going to get The Fiend for sure. Firefly Funhouse Bray is in there. The alternate models for John Cena are going to be in the game again. I would really think that the up-to-date current version of Bray Wyatt is going to be in the game from his last run with WWE. And then I'm just holding out hope that they're also going to give us like the fourth one being original Bray Wyatt for the Wyatt family. We got more shots of Stone Cold Steve Austin, Kevin Owens here, big stunner to Stone Cold Steve Austin. I wanted to pause right here with Razor Ramon holding up both Intercontinental titles in the Screenshot 2K release. They had the hanger for the belts, and I am wondering if we're gonna get proper double title motion when you're gonna do a victory for this. Razor Ramon's iconic pose of holding up both IC titles. I really hope that we're going to be able to do double title ladder matches this year. It'll be wild. They also got a small shot here of WrestleMania, the match between Austin and Bret Hart. I'm glad that that's going to make it into the game. Kurt Angle's model looks wonderful. I love that attire, like I said. There seems to be a nice variety of matches for showcase. I think it's difficult for them to cherry pick the matches because we have seen 30 years of WrestleMania. You don't want any repeats. I do kind of worry that they're relying a little too much on WrestleMania 39 because I think we've already got three matches confirmed just for that. Glad the Firefly Funhouse is in there. WrestleMania 17, I'm so glad that they're putting that in. But it does mean to me that the unlockables for Showcase are going to be very exciting. Retro titles, different models for like Scott Hall, presumably for The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. All of the WrestleMania arenas to unlock in here too. And they all seem to have unique characteristics to them. 2K also revealed this screenshot of Drew McIntyre just yesterday. The model looks really excellent. I'm very excited for this. And we do have the Fiend in the game. His full entrance is right here. And there are tweaks to the mask that they have done, but the entrance is the same. The Fiend's music is in there too. Because right now there is a healthy blend of Attitude Era, current WWE, and the 80s are in there too. They're going across all the different generations of WWE. It's a really nice touch. This roster can be very, very big in my my eyes they're talking about like 200 plus people in there just from what we're getting in showcase alone it's going to look very healthy i am excited for the different models the other piece that we're looking for confirmation still is going to have to do with my faction and i bring that up because there are hints and rumblings that my faction models are going to be downloadable this year meaning if you unlock them pay for them whatnot there are rumors that you're going to be able to buy that version of hbk or DX and you're going to be able to use them offline if that happens my faction number one might actually get played it might be successful this year it would give more longevity and also it would beef up the roster even more with models and options for people to play with the other thing is the question of showcase mode itself this has actually come up in the comments here quite often so showcase Yes, is playable in Standard Edition, Deluxe Edition, 40 Years of WrestleMania Edition. It's not locked to like 40 Years of Mania Edition. So I just want to clarify that because people have asked quite often. But the other thing is that we're still waiting to find out more about Universe Mode. Click this video because we're talking about why players are a little bit worried when it comes to Universe Mode in 2K24. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Hit the like button if you made it all the way through to the end. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. See ya.